On August 11, 2013, as the first leg of a joint venture between the Essex Shipbuilding Museum and the Mount Desert Island Historical Society, the Lewis H. Story was prepped by Essex volunteers who trained a crew from Maine and then turned her over to them on August 12th for the Mainer's journey north. The following is a brief impression of the project and a beautiful day of sailing dedicated to living history while preserving the past. Well, in 1762, um, Mr. Soames and his wife and several children took a boat very similar to the Lewis H. Story, a Chewbacca boat, and sailed from Gloucester to Mount Desert Island area and found it what is now Soamsville, Maine. My name is Bill Horner. I come from Bar Harbor, Maine. I'm the president of the Mount Desert Island Historical Society. And this vessel you see behind me is the Lewis H. Story which is the flagship of the Essex Historic Society. The museum was originally founded as the Essex Historical Society, and then it morphed into the Essex Historical Society and Shipbuilding Museum, where they still do build small boats. It's a forward hatch where we, that takes you down, down below where we store ropes and life jackets and things like that. The aft hatch is access to the little diesel engine and the gearbox. Originally, when they used these boats back in the day, you'd have a fisherman on either side with a hand line, and then in the back, and they would throw the fish in there. This is a project in which we're attempting to recreate the historic voyage of one Abraham Soames, a gentleman from Gloucester, Massachusetts, who in 1762 took his wife Hannah his four daughters and two cows uh, up the coast, Gulf of Maine, to Mount Desert Island, and became the first uh, permanent European settlement uh, in that area. Even though the stories are a large boat building family in Essex, Lewis H. Story was not a boat builder. He was a grocer and also the town historian. The Shabaka boat, which this is a type of boat, were the first boats that were built in Essex before it really became a shipbuilding industry. This is basically a Dutch design. They're fairly easy to build, but some of the early settlers knew how to build this type of boat. The mast is a brand new mast. Um, that, she was installed Saturday afternoon. <laughs> when we were getting ready for this trip, we got all the painting done and everything was ship shape. And the last minute we discovered that the mast had some rod in it. So the crew of shipwrights at the museum um, made a new mast. Uh, we're not gonna have this wonderful breeze tomorrow. <sighs> Unfortunately, I think you're right, but uh, isn't it nice that you got the feel of the boat today, so you, you have an idea of what she can and can't do. You're, you're going to go around the breakwater.
So um, I want to personally thank Jim uh, Diedrich from the uh, uh, Essex Historical Society, without whose efforts uh, this wouldn't have come off. Mm -hmm.